What's good, Boxing World? It's your boy, the Expert Genius, and I'm back with another one. Here to talk about the fight last night with Tyson Fury and Otto Wallen. Wallen, I should say. Now, I watched the fight, and I believe Tyson Fury was exposed, but whoever that judge that had the score 118 to 110, that, that was BS. And another thing that was BS, which I understand what ESPN was doing, was that commentary was so biased last night. But let's get into it. You know, I scored the fight a draw. I had Otto Valin winning the first round, second round, third round, the fourth round. The fifth round could have been a 10-10 round, but I was looking for a round to give Tyson Fury, so I gave him the fifth round. Valin got the sixth round, and 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 all went to Tyson Fury. That's, to me, only because Otto Valin gassed out. But then in that 12th round, Otto pinned his ears back Said the hell with being tired, and he went for broke, and he almost knocked Tyson Fury out in the 12th round. If he had a little bit more power and a little bit more speed, he would have got Tyson Fury out of there. See, if he had a better gas tank, he would have got Tyson Fury out of there. But I did a video a month ago, you know, when the fight was announced, talking about Otto Valen. And, you know, his keys to success. And I said in that video that his best chance to win was to go to Tyson Fury's body, chop him down, and then use that straight left hand of his, you know, you know, to get Tyson Fury. But I also said in that video, I didn't think that he could do it. He must have watched my video because, you know, he went out there and tried to prove me wrong. He fight should have been a draw. And Tyson Fury against Deontay Wilder looked better than Tyson Fury last night. And for anybody that says, you know, the Tyson Fury that faced Deontay Wilder wasn't the real Tyson Fury, y'all are full of shit because y'all want to say the Tyson Fury that faced uh, Tom Schwartz was, uh, that faced him. That was the real Tyson Fury. It's like, come on. Tom was just there. You know, he was just happy to be there. Get that glare out of there. Tom was just happy to be there, and he didn't come to win. Otto came to win. He wasn't there to collect no check. He wasn't there to play no games with Tyson Fury. He came to win, and he gave it to Tyson Fury. And like Terrence Crawford tweeted out, had that been someone else, that fight would have been stopped. And I seen an interview with Dan Raphael not too long ago when he was talking about, you know, the fight could have been stopped in the 10th round when... Tyson Fury was pummeling uh, Otto Wallen. Okay. Y'all y'all seen that nasty cut? Well, cuts Tyson Fury had. Why wouldn't the fight stop in? And he looked trash. Like Deontay Wilder said on my brother, you know, Barbershop Conversations, you know, channel, Tyson Fury's done. I said it. Tyson Fury needs to stay away from Anthony Joshua, Luis Ortiz, Andy Ruiz. Uh, hell, hell, they, they should put a restraining order against Deontay Wilder because Deontay Wilder will kill him. I almost killed him in the first fight. Hell, Tyson Fury admitted that. John Fury. 
he doesn't want his son going up against uh, Deontay Wilder. He said that had that been a top three heavyweight in the ring with Tyson Fury last night, they would have knocked him out. And Tyson Fury was lucky to get a win last night. Which I got to agree with him. He was lucky to get a win last night. And he also said that Tyson Fury needs to get rid of Ben Davidson and his team. And the only one that should stay is the uh, the cut man. He believes that uh, Ben Davis and the rest of uh, Tyson Fury's team will be Tyson Fury's downfall in the end of his career. Man, it, this is this is just crazy. Tyson Fury has been exposed. This was a cherry pick going wrong. I mean, this was supposed to be a showcase fight with Tyson Fury just coming out there looking good like he did against uh, Tom Suarez, but Otto Wallace said, not tonight. Not tonight. You get saved by the judges with the scorecards. Uh, ESPN, what they buy sales and they commentary and they little scorecards, they they were trying to have everybody believe that out of all it only won one or two rounds. And it's like it's crazy. He had a good game plan, and like I said, he must have been watching my video because he attacked that body. He, I mean, you know, he got the headshots in, but he wasn't even worried about the headshots. He went to the body, put the pressure on uh, Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury didn't like that and kept backing himself up in the corner and gets the ropes and you know, all that kind of stuff. Opened up that cut over Tyson Fury's eye. Tried an old veteran move when he had him in, the, uh, you know, when they got tangled up. He tried to, you know, rake it and all that kind of stuff. And people, oh, he, he, he tried to foul Tyson Fury. Well, don't say nothing about that because where was y'all at? When Tyson Fury held Steve Cunningham's head and then hit him to knock him out, that was a that was an old little veteran move, and that was dirty. So, what goes around comes around. But right now, that that that's all I have on this. Tyson Fury is this dude is done. He's built his last two fights up, and ESPN has been helping him build his last two fights up off of Deontay Wilder's name. And everything almost went wrong, and they did everything they could to protect this dude. Hell, when it came out that, you know, the cut was caused by a punch, they ESPN had some people run over there to tell Tyson Fury's team you know that the that, you know if the fight is stopped, it's gonna go into it as a TKO victory for uh, Otto Wallen. So, to me, how I see it and how the scorecards came out, only way Otto Wallen was gonna leave with a win is a PKO Tyson Fury. That was the only way he was leaving Vegas with a win over Tyson Fury. But it's sad that it came to that when. This guy is ranked number 48 in the world. And you went through this trouble with him. I see why he didn't want to fight. Uh, you know, I see why he didn't want to fight, you know, Dillian White or no other top competition. Why he turned down the rematch with Deontay Wilder. But he said, well, I don't think it's going to happen now because he said he wanted one more fight before the Wilder rematch. But, you know, he says that, and then he says he wants Wilder next. But it ain't just Wilder. He got to worry about Alexander Povetkin because Povetkin wants him. Povetkin want to see him because, you know, he was saying that Povetkin didn't want the, didn't want the uh, fight with him. So we're going to see about that. Anyway, this is your boy, the expert genius, a.k.a. XP. Hate, like, comment, subscribe, and shout out to the mighty LDBC, Black Meteors Roll, and New Media. Until next time, peace.
We in here.